Hello, and welcome back to some Minecraft. When I load into the world, not everything is visible. I can see items before the blocks render in. Hello, Keddy. I don't know how you got down here either. So I saw this villager. I thought maybe we could rescue him. Um, I don't know how you got down here, Kitty. But you will have to stay. Okay. Let's just um, get that back. Oops. I want to come out. I wonder if we could maybe give him a profession and put him into the new shop that we just made. Okay, um, don't go in there, okay? All right, this is yours. You want it? Great. Come this way. Perfect. And... Continue this way. working, kind of. Alright, well, he's over here. Do you want to work in here? Please? No. Well, you're free to do as you wish. Okay. Uh, I continued working, and uh, this is what I settled into. It is currently running. There's a little bit of an upstairs. Where we could observe. And after running it for a while, I've noticed that it doesn't actually make any tulips. And I'm not sure if it used to, or if it never did. But presently, it definitely does not. We can turn it off here. So we located the off switch. We could crawl into the redstone if we like. Excellent. Yep. And checks out. Definitely redstone. And, oh, yep, yeah, a little window. Otherwise, everything kind of worked out. I did change the water stream. So everything should be working. Now if we turn it back on, we can go downstairs. Everything is still a little bit cramped. You've got to duck down and everything. So I changed it out for some water streams. The thing I don't like is that chest is visible. Maybe there's another block we could use. And I had to move everything. To move the sorters up a block. Just reconfigure things a little bit. So we will never... The tulips in here are the tulips that have always been in here. And then we're currently collecting everything else. It's a little cramped here in the corner, so this item frame is... It serves its purpose. <laughs> I kind of like it. Everything's a bit clunky. Doesn't quite fit. Um, ironically, if we got rid of these four and we're only sorting six, we could have put the sorters upstairs like we planned. But I think it all turned out okay. Created this little entryway into the back stuff so we could take a look back here too if we ever need to get into the redstone for whatever reason go through the sorters so yeah these tulips forever empty oh no i don't want that um here you go oh that's oh we're already full on daisies no dandelions uh, you go in there I think mostly this is a farm to turn seeds, turn bone meal into seeds, and seeds into bone meal. 
Uh, we definitely don't need more than one composter, but we have three. And that's okay. So yeah, I guess we are full on that, which means every all the rest of the dandelions are going into composter. So it is primarily a dandelion farm and a seed farm. So, or a, just a very inefficient conversion from bone meal into less bone meal. Otherwise, I consider this a success and a job done. I swapped around the blocks quite a bit. The walls used to be yellow. Now they're matched the storefront green. Changed this. This used to be all deep slate. I tried mixing in quartz, and in the end, I went back with birch. Everything else seemed to just stand out a little too much. Though I do think quartz would probably work quite well. Uh, but if we did quartz, I think we'd have to do quartz all the way. And I just don't know. I don't feel like changing it again, so I'm not going to. Um, otherwise, managed to stay within the build, except for this one part that protrudes. And then there's another part down here that did as well. Um, we go into the underground again. Uh, this part here is technically out a bit. So we've kind of dug out just a little bit, but otherwise it stays within the footprint of the building. And it wasn't crucial that we did, it was more just a fun little challenge to try to put some restraints in how we could build, and then, yeah. So I think we could turn this off. For now, if we ever have to refill, we can access them here. And maybe a villager will come and occupy the store. up. We were down here before. So this is our fireworks. And I do believe it doesn't work. Well, it kind of works. But I think they just... Yeah. <laughs> they don't go up. Um, dispensers used to always just shoot straight up, regardless of direction. But that has since changed. So a small little change we're going to do is just relocate everything. I figured as we do this, we could also, um, is that wise? I mean, that doesn't matter. It might fire twice. It might get set off. Does this activate this block? I don't know. No. I mean, yes. Okay. Well, anyway, let me, uh, let me reconfigure. Okay, that's those two. Um, I don't know, should we change this one? I could just move this back. Okay, success. And I also wanted to make some new fireworks. So I brought some ingredients, but we also need some colors. So we'll need our, our dye box. Dye box. And the crafting table is right there. Perfect. How do we make fireworks? How do we make the stars? I think we need... Some of this uh, gunpowder, gunpowder. Oh, we have some gunpowder and some coal. And that will make fire charges as soon as we convert that. Three. No, can I have more than three? There we go. Mm, okay, color and gunpowder. Makes a large ball, and we can add... We can have multiple colors. 
when do you add this? Twinkle? Is that the maximum amount of colors we can have? I have no idea how this works. Oh, I've made them before. You can just be purple? No. Grab some more dye. We can add that in too. Twinkle? Oh no. When does gold go in? Maybe gold goes... No. Maybe gold goes in later. What else? Just that? Okay. Then we do this. Then we can add that? No. When do you add gold nuggets? Can you add gold nuggets? Flight duration one. Flight duration two. Okay, let's make it. Well, I think that worked. Maybe. Okay, again. Sure. Well, I think those are the old ones we had, so... Small versus, I don't know, those are just our flight. Flight duration two, flight duration one. Let's do a little mix. Those the same? No, they're different. That's not anything. Oh, I made some just normal rockets, I guess, when I shift clicked. That's okay. So this farthest one, the dispenser we were just in, that one has the least chance to fire. This one here fires every night. So that one we want basic ones in there, and maybe we'll make some more. I have enough to make more. Okay. Star-shaped. There we go. Why don't we make... Star-shaped. Can I add a twinkle? We can add a twinkle. So the fire charge is in place of that. Got it. Okay. You can add multiple. Okay. Learning so much. Yeah, rocket stuff, I don't know. I feel like you need like a whole warehouse just laying out all the combination of things. Um, key is we want a variety. Uh, maybe we'll make those go high, sure. And then our last star shape ones. Uh, do we have any more gunpowder? We don't, okay. Well, let's make some of them go really high. I'm going to be out of gunpowder. Okay. Change. We'll just do that. Okay. Now we'll put all the star-shaped ones, I think, in here. Actually, maybe we'll make this one exclusively star-shaped. Because why not? So then we know... This one fired. Okay, flight, flight, flight. Cyan green, sure. And this one needs the most. Okay. Now I do think... Hmm, so this has a 2 and 9 chance. I think of an ender pearl or a wooden sword. Oh, okay, this is quite the opposite of what I thought. This one has a greater chance of firing. So let's switch these around.
guess it's just going to keep setting itself up. They are quite low. <laughs> I feel like they all should have been uh, flight duration 3. Yeah, like that one. So which one is that blue one? Oh wow, what's happening here? What is this? Alright, oh, because it should be... <laughs> it's trying to turn the lights on. Because it's not a... Oops. It's not a daylight sensor anymore. Okay. Uh, there we go. Alright, which one was that? The light blue... White, white, twinkle... This is why we need a dye farm. This just, like, consumes dye. Yeah, this one. Flight duration 3. Hard to tell, but yeah. Okay, well. It's better than it was. Next up. I'm debating. We need to make a mob farm. I'm not entirely sure I want to, but let's do it. So far I've been using the villagers to repair things. And it works. It does mean we go through our... We're using our sugarcane as quickly as we get it, I think. What we need is a bunch of leaves. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and start an Enderman farm. A new one. So I'm going to gather some supplies. Oops. Most definitely forgotten something. Alright, part of why we're going out there is I'm trying to create... That's not the right box. Where is the right box? <laughs> Oops. Triggering the door. Yeah, I'm trying to create some backup gear so that we, when we inevitably lose our gear, we can remake it. So I have this box ready to go with some books. Still missing some things, but uh, it'd be good to do that at like an Enderman farm. Okay, I think we are ready to go out there. I'm sure I forgot something, but I'll come back. We can at least get started. I don't know how far we'll get. I won't be able to finish it today. Trying to remember what's what I put everywhere. Okay, we got some wool out here. Good, good to know. And then some random stuff. Also good to know.
All right, so our current one is that way. We could, could either branch off, and our entry into this uh, world is, where is it? Right below us? Excuse me. Yes, right under here. So we could, no, did I anger you? That's unfortunate, sorry. Could go out this way. That way, when we get here, we can just head on through. We'll make a way for this Enderman to come and attack us. Okay. Do we swell? Now, if I'm not mistaken, and through some testing, things that I feel I remember other people saying, Endermen cannot spawn on waterlogged leaves. So this might be very cumbersome. So I don't think you can create a water source? No. But this is our plan. And why I brought so many leaves. We are going to bridge out using leaves and then waterlog them. Luckily, you won't have to watch all that. Okay, I think we are out far enough. We are safely, as safely as I feel. Never been all that comfortable out in the void. We're as low as we can get, I think. And as far as I can tell, no mobs can spawn. So I think we're far enough away. I'm not sure if we'll keep the bridge. I might actually get rid of it, and we'll make this one just to... Uh, Elytra accessible only, but I'm not sure. Mainly because I don't feel like waterlogging all of those. 
And while I'm not sure if Endermen can spawn on leaves, it's more about whether they can teleport out of the farm. I think they can't teleport onto waterlogged leaves, but other blocks they can. So an alternative, I think, is double carpeting and other methods that I've never done. I haven't done this one either, but I have played with it in creative. So our next step is to not fall into the void. Actually, let's get some more rockets. It'll make me feel a little safer. So yeah, we're just going to bridge out now. Um, and I'm not too concerned with this being super efficient. As far as Enderman Farm goes, I think it's pretty efficient anyway. So I may not stay at the very bottom. I'd like to add in some hoppers and things and a bit of redstone. I would like to be able to turn this farm off. So we'll have to figure some things out with, um, with some of that too. So if we get out our redstone box... So we're going to want some chests, and we're going to want some hoppers, and I may opt for barrels instead of chests, I'm not sure. But we want a decent amount of storage for ender pearls. Probably at least a couple layers. And the way I'm going to turn this farm off is um, instead of just opening them into the void, I will... Yeah, too high. I will instead light up the platform above. And I think we're going to put them into a 2 by 3 hole, which means I'm probably going to, let's see, do something like that. Where is the edge? Sure. Something like that.
All right, I think we are ready. Maybe. If I did this right, we should have mobs falling down. Hello. Sorry for all the silence. I just kind of went with the build in order for us to get this done. And hopefully it wasn't uh, too much silence. And you got a glimpse of the building. Now, I don't know if this has sweeping edge. No, it does. Yeah, okay. And I did die right at the beginning. I think I lost a few things, but I'm not quite sure. Lost my pair of wings. Not sure what else there. Might have been it. Maybe some buckets. Alright. Well, I think this will work. Uh-oh. I did anger one. I looked at you. Let's get rid of the one I looked at. Okay. Now... I probably could have built this differently. I probably didn't need to go up as high, especially since I'm using Sweeping Edge. Just don't teleport out. And yeah, I think we are safe. And I wanted to create an off switch, so when we want to... Oops, I did make a mistake. <laughs> yeah, um, this is supposed to be one in. <laughs> Let me fix that. Okay, hopefully I can just do a bit of that. Um, extend this out, maybe? Otherwise, I may need to move everything forward, but if I can get away with not doing so, it would be great. Well, I'm not sure about this. If they can spawn here, they might be able to. Um... If we get rid of that, most definitely spawn right there. Oh, I scared myself. What if we, um... Hmm. Can they spawn here? Will that work? Let's find out. If they kill the Endermite, I might need to replace it. This is getting long. There's that leaf block right there I want, I want to get. Okay. Let's go see. Seems to be okay. Okay, call that a win. To keep monitoring it, see if anything comes up, but otherwise. Well, we have an XP. Oh god. I my energy of one hit. Alright, well, thank you for hanging out. Thanks for watching if you're still here. If not, that's okay. I'll see you next time.